hi superstars you're welcome to this video okay so in this video i'll be teaching you how to store your bitter color as you can see right now i'm trying to sort out the bitter color i stored last year so i can take it to the market for sales all right so the essence of storage is to make sure that your stored products maintains its original quality during and after storage okay so i start large seed bitter color as you can see and right now it is still intact the peels are still okay all right the once the peel of a bitter color is gone during storage it has lost its market value but I've been able to store it effectively and all the peels are still intact. Only if a few, as you can see, decayed during storage. It's not much about, I think 15 or there about. It's good because you can't have it all right. <laughs> you can't have it all perfect, okay? So it's very normal. So right now, I'm done with the sorting. I'll show you guys how you can store your pita cola so stay with me my superstars all right okay so in storage of bitter color what you need first is a transparent bag you can see this transparent bag all right okay so this transparent bag is very thick it is that it is gotten from a uh, sugar you know this is the bag in which they put sugar to sell to sugar sellers all right so if you go to the market where they sell stuff like um, bakery items like sugar flour and all that you see this okay ask them for sugar bag they could give this to you i got this from my customer gave me free of charge all right so you also need a sack all right so i this is the sack i used and i also used a a dustbin bag what do they call it uh ziplock bag for dustbin for waste and all that so i used this as well okay all right so the first thing you do when you buy your pizza color from the market if it was just harvested from the pod you have to wash it you have to pour it into a basin with water and wash it to be sure that those things that were attached to the bitter color during um, during harvest is completely removed where after doing that you spread it on a mat like i'm doing right now you spread it on a bag not on the bare floor please you spread it on something like this or you could place things like sacks like this on the floor and then you spread them out like i'm doing right now next is you make sure you don't dry it under the sun one of the mistakes people make in storing bitter cola is by drying it under the sun no you don't dry bitter cola under the sun because it will dry out the moisture content in the bitter color. The essence of storage is to make sure that the moisture content of the bitter color is retained throughout storage. Once the moisture content is lost, it, it um, shrinks, yes, it shrinks, and then most times it decays, the peel goes off and all that so you want to make sure that you retain the moisture content throughout storage so it's best you don't dry it outside in the sun you spray it in your corridor and for me i didn't want to move it up and down so i kept it in a room and i spread it on the floor you leave it there for like two days okay the essence of doing that is to make sure that the excess water you had used on it is gone okay retaining just its original moisture content so you leave it for like two days and dry it for two days before you now first you put it into this bag first all right 
Let's do this together. I want to know what's left, so I'm using my custard bucket because the unit of measurement used in selling it in the market is custard bucket. So first, I need to measure this. All right, so. You put it into the bag. All right, so I'm done packing them into the bag, the sugar empty bag, as you can see. So the next thing is you tie the mouth of the bag. This style is not just any time. You have to tie it in such a way that no moisture is left. No external factor has access to this bag. No insect or anything can access this bag. And nothing leaves this bag as well. No moisture escapes from this bag. After tying it, as you can see, I've made a knot. I've tied it. Yeah. And there's no air in the bag. Next is... You put it in another bag you need to be sure that there is no escaping no escape route for moisture okay so i'm going to place it in this other black bag So my bag is now well secured. I'll tie the external black bag. Okay. Try it. Next, it. I'm finally going to place it in this other bag. No escaping for moisture. <laughs> moisture, you're in trouble. <laughs> You ain't going nowhere, moisture. Moisture, you ain't going nowhere. I got you. Love that. Yeah, so I got this. Okay, so we're going to tie this bag with a rope. I can't seem to find a rope right now, so I have to go in and get rope. But in the meantime, you tie the bag with secure the bag with the rope, and that's it. When you're keeping it, you don't place it directly on the floor. Make sure you place it on top of a plank, a wooden plank. It wouldn't surface you don't drop it directly on the floor because the floor has cold and all that it has heat sometimes it's cold sometimes it's hot all those temperature changes are not good for food storage so you make sure you place it on top of a plank to make sure that no cold or hot uh, heat has access to your stored product that it remains stable in a stable atmospheric pressure and you place it inside the house not outside you keep it in a cool warm environment at room temperature all right my superstars okay so that's just all there is to storage you don't add chemicals you don't add anything you store it that way and when you're ready to sell you open up and take your goods to the market and that is it all right, my superstars, if you need bitter cola, please send me a mail on idzillion at gmail.com and I'll get right back to you. Okay, my superstars, if you have any question regarding bitter cola storage, leave it in the comment section or you could send me a mail as well and I'll get right back to you. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, my superstars. Now we all in this video. Thank you for watching my videos. I see you. And if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your bell for notifications whenever there's a new video. And please help me share this video so this video can reach out to so many people out there who need this knowledge as well. Thank you. Until our next video, always and always remember that I love you. Okay, I love you, love you, love you.